this is a demonstration of viewing a magnetic field with a plasma gas. Those are standard ceramic magnets and that's a speaker magnet and that thing has noble gas in it and it normally is set in a windowsill and it spins around as a result of the gas getting hot from hitting the white squares and then the white squares spin away from the sunlight. And the plasma ball, that has a Tesla coil in the center of it and it also has noble gas in it and the Tesla coil sends electrons through the plasma. But what's crazy is that they actually activate the electrons in that thing on the right there. And there's uh, fluorescent gas in that light bulb back there, which I'm going to demonstrate as well. So, let's get to it. So, now I'm going to turn off the light. turn the device on, and now I'm ramping up the intensity on the device. And I'm just going to push that all the way up so that there's the maximum amount of electrons coming out. And now if I lift this guy, you can see it does glow pretty bright. Now let's make sure it's focus. Not clipping at all. Okay, so, so you can see, and then also if I move it away, you can see that they, they don't actually have to be touching for the gas and the other thing to be illuminated. And what is also interesting is that if I continue to move it away, it completely falls off to nothing. So, there's a few other things which affect the electrons getting to that. And that is my hand. If they go into my hand, it certainly doesn't go into the gas. So you can see the relationship there. And then, as well, touching this, let's see if I can touch it from the correct side. See? It, it affects the field of the gas inside as well. And then, move it around, you may be able to see that there is a fall off right around here, where you can see it perhaps better like that. You can watch the fall off move in and out there. Okay, so that's established. Now, let's observe the magnetic field. I'm going to cross the camera here. As I bring the magnet in, this is the pole of the magnet. And as I move it back and forth, you can certainly see where the field starts and starts. Um, part of what you're seeing here too is the circle on the outer edge there. That's the thing. I, I uh, can really affect it with my hand as well. Just by pointing that's causing part of the circle to appear. And that circle is forming as a function of sort of the intersection of the donut shape of the magnetic field with this spherical bulb. So once I get a larger volume of containment of the plasma gas, then the magnetic field will be easier to see. But it's very exciting as this is the first three-dimensional volumetric uh, illustration. In other words, it's uh, happening throughout the magnetic field that I've been able to generate. So there's that, and then this is interesting with another 
Um, I'm pushing magnets are currently both attracting towards each other. And if I move them around, I can control the fields like that. And then this is repelling. You saw it flip there. So this is me kind of moving both magnets around, feeling the magnetic field push against itself and causing all sorts of geometric distortion inside the, the gas. Now, let's try this with the speaker magnet. And you can really start to see the, the middle circle it's kind of strange, it sort of spirals spirals in its strength, but but it definitely is just showing the cross section of the middle of the, the torus. If I turn the magnet the one way or the other, the spiral eventually collapses into the circle. Um, and this can also be seen by putting the magnet flat down and putting the bulb over it. There we go. Oh yeah, if I touch the magnet, really, wow. That makes a big difference if I'm touching the magnet as well. See if I let go of the magnet, so that's quite faint. <laughs> that's, that's fascinating. So that's, that's the magnetic field being displayed. And let me see if I can't do it from the back. See if you can see the circle. Yeah, there you go. See the circle moving around so that you can see it three dimensionally. And this is the exact same principle as the Aurora Borealis, which is pretty spectacular. So, assuming you can make this larger, pretty make a pretty good Aurora Borealis. Um, container, and then this is this is pretty excellent as a nice little benefit. There's another that is neon. I mean, sorry, uh, fluorescent gas illuminating from the electrons escaping from the ball, and uh, they they can both kind of work together, I guess. So there you go. And as I move it away, ball turns off. And I don't know if you can see, but there is nothing plugged into this light bulb. Nothing other than the electrons coming out of the Illumina Storm device there, the Tesla coil. Okay, so that's step one.